Hello my dear brothers and sisters, I am a little bit nervous about the video of today because the video of today is about no kissing before marriage. But um, I'm a little bit, I was a little bit nervous about this, making this video because I didn't want, the reason is I don't want to hurt anyone or I don't want to, to feel that uh, or make, make, um, make anybody feel that I judge them. So I just want to I just want to share my decision with you and it's not that um, and I want and I want you to understand something really clearly I don't want you to feel like maybe if you are dating somebody and if you are kissing that God love you love you less and that God will love me more because I saved my kiss before marriage no it's not about that it just I want to share my testimony with you like how I make this decision so please understand that this come from a uh, this comes from a good heart and I just want to, um, um, I don't know if I shared before, like seven years ago I got baptized like, um, and uh, and before that I was uh, I was dating like, uh, like uh, um, because I was living in the world so I was dating, dating really like, uh, like the world but then I be, then when I became a Christian I saw there was a whole different kind of way of dating and uh, uh, and, and the whole different kind of way of purpose of dating and how God meant something. Uh, so this was like a whole new journey for me. So I just want to share my journey with you and, uh, and I want you to know that God loves you and, uh, and I love you and I'm not here to, to judge you but I'm here to build you up and I'm, and I'm here to, uh, to point you to Christ and not to point at me like look how good I am and blah, it's, it's not about me, it's about how can we serve God the best way and how can we live, um, how can we live a pure and a chastity life and we, we all, and I think we all need to help each other in this because this is a really hard, this is a really hard um, topic to do this and, and I don't have all the answers so maybe, uh, maybe after this video if you have any tips who, uh, which could help this video, just please uh, write them down below in the comments so because maybe maybe I know something you know something and that together we can we can grow closer to God and that is the main reason why I make these videos that we all can grow and grow close to God as brothers and sisters in Christ and I make these videos because I love you and not to judge you so um, uh, let's get started and um, uh, yeah so as I said before, like uh, uh, seven years ago, I get baptized, and uh, and 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 then when I became a Christian, I knew that God said like, uh, okay, uh, there's no sex before marriage. But when I always was hearing that, like there's no sex for marriage, I was always thinking, but is there was is there a list of of the things that I could do and the things that I could not do? Like just tell me how far can I go, and I would. Um, and I would do that. I thought if there was a list, it would make my life so much easier. I was just always thinking, but but what can I do and what can I not do? Um, just like how far can I go? Um, but um, but as I grow my faith and as uh, and as I get to get to know God better, and as I get to to, to know the Word of God better, and and, uh, and why God says certain things and. Uh, and, 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 um, uh, and as I started to read, uh, to read the Bible, and I came across a Bible verse, um, like last year, and this Bible verse really was an eye-opener for me. Uh, this Bible verse is the verse of Corinthians uh, 2, uh, verse 13, 12. It says, greet, in, greet each other with a holy kiss. And, uh, and before that, I never thought even about kissing. I just thought about like, um, like other things. I never thought like kissing is, uh, kissing is in the, uh, is in the group of, uh, of, uh, is in the group of a thing that you can do or cannot do. I never thought about kissing. I thought because uh, all my friends were the one where they, they were dating, they kissed. So I thought it's normal. You normal when you date somebody, you have to you have to kiss them. You have to end the date with a kiss because this is just this is the normal thing. This is the normal thing in the world. But then when I started reading this Bible verse about the holy kiss, then I thought, but but so even my kiss is holy. And then 
And then uh, after reading this Bible verse, uh, my question changed. It was not like from God, how far can I go? But my question changed to God. I said, but God, how much can I save for you? How much can I save for my wedding night? And then um, it was like a snow of, uh, snowball effect in all my life, as you can imagine. And then I also start to think about um, about if we get married and if we are standing in front of a priest and the priest said um, and then the priest said you are husband and you are wife and now you may kiss the bride. And I never thought about that. But then I think, but why does the priest say you are husband and you are wife and now you and now you can kiss each other? Because it was like yes, after the blessing, after the uh, after the um, the wedding blessing. The, uh, the, uh, the sacrament of the wedding, then I think yes, of course. After that, after that, you, you can bless each other with, with a holy kiss. You can greet each other then with a holy kiss. But like, why does it say the priest like before, uh, before that like uh, kiss each other? No, this is something. That then, then I thought also by myself. This is something that belonged also in a marriage, like. I think after the after the blessing of the, of the priest and after the sacrament of, of sacrament of the wedding, I think then then uh, then we can uh, then we can add the physical part of our relationship uh, because before that we never know we never know if this person that we are that we are dating if they are the one. We only know if, if they are the one, if we are standing on the front of a priest and we're saying yes, we saying yes, I give my life to him or to her. Before that, we, um, if we are honest, we really cannot know. Even if you just love this person so much, even if we are engaged, we don't know. This person can still become somebody else's wife or husband or still be still can become a woman or a man of God. So we don't know. So that's why it's so important that that that, the, um, that we guard our heart, our dear brothers and dear brothers and sisters. It's really important that we are guard our heart and we guard our body and we guard our soul. Because uh, because the Holy because the Holy Spirit is living in us and it's our job to uh, to guard it. We are the managers of God, like of, of our bodies, like uh, um, like we need to know like um, how, um, like how far can we go and how f and, and and how many things can we save. So because we live in this world, uh, we live in a world. Um, we do everything reverse. That's why I love the quote of Fulton Sheen. He said, "We live in a world like um, we love things, but we use people. We need, but we need to reverse it. We need to love the people, and we, do, um, and we need to use things. Like just think about it. Like things are made in a in, in a fabric, like massive. Like uh, just think about one nail polish. Like made for like one million and maybe uh, I don't know a couple of hours. I don't know." But you, my dear brothers and sisters, you are made in nine months. Uh, God took it to make you in, in the stomach of your mom. Even if you are a, a twin or a triplet or, or fivelet, still God, um, still God, still God uh, uh, give give nine months to make you. You are made out of love. You are made out of in. You are made out of the image of God. Like God loves you so much that, that He took nine months to love you, to nourish you, so that you, that you can come in this world. So, so you are made for more, and you are worth to wait. Like sometimes maybe you think, oh, maybe I am asking too much. Like okay, I'm asking guy maybe not to have sex before marriage. But can I maybe also go a step further, like asking him, you know what? Uh, I don't want to do kissing. Be I want to save also my kids before marriage. Like maybe you think you are asking too much, but I want you to know that you are worth to wait. You are worth to wait that somebody waits for you until your wedding day. Like for me, I decided that I, that I want to save my kids before my wedding day. I want to save my kids for my before my wedding before my wedding night because I want to give my kids. To somebody who thinks that I'm worth to wait, and also uh, who also said yes to me in front of the priest, and also say no to all, to say no to all the other women uh, in this world. So because when he say yes to me, he say no to everybody else. 
and I want to save my kiss uh, uh, for somebody who's um, who want to also want to lead me close to God. So because we are saving our kiss, uh, then I think there's, there's more room for God in our relationship. But think, because I think the, the biggest mistake we take now and, and when we are dating, we make each other the center of our relationship. Like, no, it's more fun if God is the center of our relationship. Like, the relationship needs to be with three people. Like, you, him, and God. Like, it's so boring because if it's just you and just him, like, um, of course, this person can disappoint you. This person can never love you, can, uh, can never love you, uh, uh, can never love you or give you the things that, uh, um, um, that you that maybe, um, um, that maybe, uh, that you really long for. But it's normal because this person is human. But, but only God can fulfill your, your deepest, be, your, your deepest desire. Because you are made to spend the rest of your life with God. Not with the rest of your life with your husband or with your wife. Because just think about it. Well, Usually when you get married, maybe, I don't know, um, uh, but, but um, um, it, um, you, uh, you already lived half of your life, but, but, uh, but we start our life with God. And the only person that we usually end our life with is with God, because maybe our husband or wife maybe died before us or maybe died after us. So all our life we are with one person. So if we think about if we are all alive with one person, then why we should leave this this one person who is always with us, leave this person out if, if we are dating somebody. So I think, I think it makes more sense to, to, uh, to invite God in our relationship. And if we, and if we, and if we decide to, uh, to save the, the physical aspect before, after marriage, then it's more time to get to know this person you, who you are dating. And it's more time to invite God in your relationship. It's more time like to pray together, uh, to study the word of God together, and maybe to uh, maybe, maybe to see if this girl or this boy also can lead you closer to God. And by leading you closer to God is by leading you closer to holiness. Like maybe leading you closer to the purpose that God has for you. Like, I don't know the purpose that God has for you. Only God knows the purpose that He has for you. And how do you know what God's purpose is for you? By spending time with Him. Like how beautiful is it if you're dating somebody and you fall in love together with God. I think, I think that's magic. <laughs> I think that's really magic, uh, but um, um, but my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, if you are maybe dating somebody now and and you are kissing your relationship, um, or if you are maybe engaged and you are kissing now, um, you if you want you can start today all over again. It's not like yes, oh I kissed before and um, uh, thank you for all the tips, Christina, but it's too late for me. It's never too late, my dear brothers and sisters. You can start every day to, to, with God and every day you can start all over again. And every day you can think, I'm going to start uh, live a pure and I, I'm going to choose a chastity life. So if you are dating somebody and if you are kissing, I want you to ask, I want you to take this in your prayer life. I'm saying, God, I am in love with this person. And God, you know, we have kissed and maybe we have other, done other things. But God, I didn't know that there was other way. God, if you want me to save my kiss, kiss for my wedding day, tell it to me, God, tell it to me. If you are speaking about the holy kiss, is my kiss the holy kiss, God? God, let me know. And if God, God, you know me, I need you to speak clearly to me and lead me in and, and, and lead me in this holy holiness, God. I need you and I need to hear from you, God. So you can ask God uh, for wisdom in this. And if you are engaged with somebody and you are planning to, of course, you are planning to marry, but you already have kissed and you want to maybe, maybe you think, um, maybe if you want, only if you want, you can start by kissing today and you can uh, save the, and you can start kissing again on your wedding night. And you can ask God, like, God, I'm engaged to this person and we have kissed, um, and we have kissed, yes, God, but God, um, um, if you want, I, uh, I want to stop, stop kissing today and I want to save it for my wedding, 
for my wedding uh, for my wedding day but god speak to me and lead me in this journey god you know it's really hard because i'm really attractive to, uh, 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 to my fiance and i really love him or i really love her and she's so beautiful uh, uh, so so invite god in this relationship and ask god to lead you um, to lead you in this journey and um oh yeah and what is also really good uh, that you can ask god if you if you are single if you are maybe single now you can ask god like god what do you want me to do when I start when I start dating again? Like, do you want me to start my um, um, uh, my kiss? Uh, do you want to start? Do you want me to end my date with a kiss? How do you want me to handle this? Like for me, I don't know, I didn't know all this information because I didn't have many um, many Christian friends. And so uh, I kissed before, and uh, and if I could, I, I would I would take back all my kisses. So I just want you to be better than me, and um, so I just want to give you the option. Um, to, to, uh, to just give you the option that, uh, and I just and most important thing is that I want to give you the option. But the most important thing is that I want you to know that you are worth to wait. That that you are worth that uh, worth to wait. That um, you are worth it. That somebody waits for you uh, to to, uh, to kiss you, to have sex with you. You are worth to wait because because you are a daughter and you are a daughter of God and even you boys uh, uh, my dear brothers in Christ you are also worth to wait you are worth to wait as that a girl wait for you maybe to uh, to have sex with you or, or to kiss you um, um, uh, to kiss you uh, uh, in your wedding in the wedding night you are also worth to wait God uh, uh, God made you also for more and um, uh, and how beautiful is it that, that that we serve a God who says like I count all the hairs on your head like um, like for me uh, when I read the Bible verse I counted all the hairs on your head it's like such a snowball effect on my life that it means that God is every is interested in every aspect of your life if what God says, I know all the hairs in your head, that do, don't you think that God cares who you are kissing with, or, 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 or who you who, who you are doing things, or who you are doing things, the physical things with? That God is not in. That God is also very interested interested in that. You know why? Because you belong to Him. Like you, you are His, or you are uh, you are His. And and if uh, and I think the beautiful thing is if we. Uh, if we believe in God, we also need to have a childlike faith. Like if God says your kiss is a holy kiss, then I think it's our job to believe that, because um, because children always believe what the Father says. So if our heavenly Father says that our kiss is the holy kiss, I think it's our job to believe it that our kiss, our kiss is a holy kiss because we are made in the image of God and we are made to be holy. We are born to do this. Um, so how beautiful is it if God says something that we believe it? If God says uh, He made He made us He made us an image of Him, we believe that. If God says um, uh, He made us and we are worth weight, then we believe this. If God says that that in our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, we believe that. If God says we are beautiful inside and out. We believe that and if God says that he has a plan for our life then we believe that how beautiful is that if we believe everything what God says in the Bible and if we live and, and if we live by it it's the most beautiful thing in the world um, because then I think there's no uh, then I think it takes away all the fear and all the doubts uh, because don't listen what the world says like the world says if you are dating you need to do um, you need to do this you need to do this because maybe you're thinking um, yes I, I don't have sex before marriage but, but I'm so scared if I tell my boyfriend maybe we cannot have we, we cannot kiss or maybe we cannot touch um, um, because because the world promotes sex as such a normal thing and that we need to do it with as many people as we can. That's why I want to be the voice. I want to be the voice of, yes, sex is beautiful, but sex is something uh, uh, between, a man and, between a man and a wife. Sex is something uh, is for a marriage. This is not something that you share with, with, with anybody. 
Um, and because we live in a world that really promotes sex as a normal thing, I think that's why we as Christians, we also need to think about like, um, like how we can guard our hearts and, and, and our body and our minds. Like if, um, like the world has done nothing for you. That's what I try to say. Like the world has done nothing for you, but God has died on a cross for you. Because sometimes I also, it happened also to me, sometimes the, the, uh, the voice of the devil comes like, Christina, what do you expect? That the guy also would wait for you for kissing before marriage? Uh, um, um, sorry, for n not, not even to kiss you before marriage? Like, um, who do you think you are? And um, blah, blah, blah. But, but then you have to say to the devil, you have to say, the, you, you have to know that the devil comes just to steal from you. And the devil doesn't come to steal your clothes or your groceries, but the devil comes to steal your holiness and your, and your chastity life and, your, and the plan that God has for you. So that's why we need to be really wise. That's why, that's why we, need to, we need to know that who, we are when, who we are in Christ and we are made in the image of Christ. So if the devil says something, we have to know that the devil is a liar and the devil done nothing for you. The only thing that the devil have done for you have brought you confusion, have brought you stress, have bring you doubt. But this person who died for you on the cross who will bring you peace, who will lead you to, uh, to, to a holy life, to a light of light and uh, to a light of light and happiness. So always listen to the voice of God. And if, and if you have a doubt in you, uh, if you have doubt or you think maybe I want to, I want to save my kids before marriage, but I'm scared to tell uh, to share it with my boyfriend or with my girlfriend. Just just say I'm going to listen to God, and I'm not going to listen to the devil who bring doubts in my mind. And I, and I said to the devil, Devil, you have done nothing for me. You only have taken things from me. So now I'm going to listen to God because.